Hi guys, let's know about a linear system. Linear system has three possible solutions. It looks like this. So first, it can be a unique solution. A unique solution. Second, it can, maybe it's no solution on the, on the linear system. No solution. Or it can be infinitely many solution. Okay. So here, sometimes they they write it as I write it here. It's in bold. So here it's x. It's in bold. And if you don't put it in bold, I think it's. It's, it's correct because here there is no number here like one two three uh, of course sometimes they write it in advance or something like this here here is the linear system so here linear system linear system they called it like this here I won't write it a linear system so Linear system because it has many equations inside it. So one equation, two, three. A linear because we know from the previous video here it's order one. Here all of them order one. Here bar one, bar one, bar one. And maybe you ask me, where is these two? Maybe it's not one. Of course, here it should be one. It's look like this, but it's multiplied by zero plus or minus so that's why it's vanish here and same of this one that's why it's there is nothing here because it's multiplied by zero so it's it's vanished from here and here so here it's a linear system of course if if you want to write it in your essay or in like to describe the system it's better to to call it something so that's why we called it this one sometime b it's equal to zero so we will write ax equal zero, but this one we will tell you later. So here we have what is a? I will write it here. A equal. It should be the same size of this one. So one two three one two three one two three. So nine element here it should be here nine element here one zero minus one. Minus one, one, two, two, one, zero. Okay. So of course, if I want to erase this one, so it will look better. So here, it's look better now. Okay. So here the zero. So these we have three rows three columns we have three column here three row but we don't account this one because we only we want to write this one and this a and you know here a it's only coefficient here one zero minus one minus one one it's only coefficient so a what's a a is coefficient they called it coefficient coefficient matrix okay what is x x we have variable here one two three we have only x1 x2 x3 if you don't want to account this one, account only this one. So here, equal x1, x2, x3. And sometime more. This only example here. I put here only for illustrate what this one mean. So uh, sometime you have not until x3, maybe until x2 or until x7. 
it doesn't matter so here here we have x what is x and now or they called it variable okay here unknown here k this k okay what is b b of course the result from here the answer of this one so b equal one one zero so b i want to call it the result or answer or the answer of the system so here we have three things we have to know and i have here important note not important you can only to understand this more better so the first one number this i will write number number of column here one two three number of column equal here columns equal number of unknown Now it's clear for everyone, I think. It should be clear. And here we have for rows, numbers of rows, here number of rows, equal how many equation we have? One, two, three. Number of rows equal to number of, co of equation. Okay. So here I mean to more straight it mean number of number of I like to write it in this way. So here we have three possible solutions. For the first one here, a unique solution, if it is each column has a leading one. So each column here, if it's we know this the answer of this one a unique solution if each column here this one has a leading one and this one has a leading one and this one has a leading one if I want to illustrate this one why it's a unique with example let's say this one equal to 1 and this one equal to 2 and this one equal to 2 okay and of course we know this line represent x1 because here and here x2 for this line and for this line x3 for this one here it's mean 1 multiply by x1 equal 1 and here we have 1 multiply by x2 equal 2 and here we the last one we have 1 multiply by x3 equal 2 from here we have x1 equal 1 x2 equal 2 x3 equal 2 and of course from this one we have x when bold I have to write it in bold x which represent the whole thing here as uh, so this one it's equal to x1 x2 x3 of course this one equal 1, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2. So that's why we have only one solution, which mean is a unique solution. For this one, let's say this one, if we have this shape of a matrix, we have to say no solution because here there is a zero row here. So the left of the line has a zero row. The left of this line has a zero row and the right of it a number not equal to zero so this one it has to be not equal to zero for example if this one equal one the same example this equal two and this one equal two the same thing so here we have one multiply by x1 
equal 1, 1 multiply x2 equal to 2, and here we have the last one we have, because here x1, x2, x3. For the last one here we have 0 multiplied by x3 equal 2. From this one, we have 0 multiplied by x3, which is 0 equal 2 which is impossible which is impossible not 0 it's not equal to 2 that's why from here we have th from this one it's not possible impossible here impossible therefore we have no solution for the last one here the same thing infinity many solution if we have a 0 row on the like if we want to so say if we want to do RREF and at the end we have a zero row completely a zero row with augmented matrix if we have a zero row then it's infinity many solution let's illustrate this one it's x1 this line for x2 this line for x3 let's say the same example this one equal one this one equal to two but this one it's already zero we can't put anything it's already zero so here we have 1 multiply by x1 and here we have 1 multiply by x2 which this one equal 1 and this one 1 multiply by x2 equal to 2 and the last one here we have we have comma 0 multiply by x3 equal to zero from here from this one from this one we know that we can substitute with any number for example if this one equal to five any number if you, we substitute this one it's equal to five zero multiply by five it's equal to zero therefore from this one x can be any number so this x belong to r so we can substitute in any number here satisfy this one therefore from this one since we have x3 belong to r we can substitute here 5 10 anything we can substitute to and it's valid for any number therefore this one this one it has many infinitely many solution therefore from here it has this one it has infinitely many solution thank you for watching see you